there, you go that way. <laughs> And the truth is that there's a whole lot going on that meets the eye when ice goes from a solid to a liquid and ultimately to a gas. And it's all a matter of science. Or is it the science of matter? Matter is anything non-living and living that takes up space. I love it. It's so true. And it can all be categorized into three states. Solid, liquid, and gas. What about plasma, crazy out, Lindsay? Girl, you just asked me why ice melted. What do you know about plasma? We're going to stick to the first three, solid, liquid, and gas. And the thing that makes them different is the arrangement, energy, and distance, distance <laughs> of the particles, excuse me, of the molecules. And molecules are the little teeny tiny specks of material that make up a substance. Now today we're going to focus on water because it's absolutely everywhere and it does not explode when you try to change its states of matter. You ready to start? Yeah. Awesome. For this project, tell us what we need. Water, cups, pan, and, and ice. Trays. <laughs> The concepts explored in this week's episode are the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, and the molecular structure of water. First thing I want you to do is pour yourself a glass of water. <sighs> Take a look at it. Clear, beautiful, refreshing, the sustenance of life. <laughs> now is the perfect time for me to tell you that water is actually made up of three atoms. A hydrogen atom, a hydrogen atom, and an oxygen atom. That makes up H2O, the molecular structure of water. Now this glass of water is room temperature, so the water is in its liquid form. The molecules in this glass of water are close together, but not packed super tight. They're moving all around each other, just kind of hanging out and thumping around. Now, liquids have no definite shape, and they take on the shape of whatever they happen to be in. Some are sticky, some are gooey, and some are just wet and run all over the place. Extreme temperatures like heat and cold is enough energy to change the states of matter. Take this glass of water and pour it into a pot. Turn the heat up and let's observe what happens. Steam! Gas. Gas molecules want nothing to do with each other. They're flying all about at super fast rates. They take up no shape at all and no volume. Now, you can't see gas usually, but sometimes you can smell it. <laughs> pour the remaining water into an ice tray. Pop it in the freezer and what do you have a few hours later? Ice. This is your solid. Molecules in a solid are packed super tight and vibrate in a fixed position. They have a definite shape and volume, measurable space an object or substance takes up. Not that volume. So there you have it everyone, the three states of water, but no matter what, it is all still just H2O. So the next time someone asks you, what's the matter, I want you to look them square in the eye and say solid, liquid, or gas. But what about plasma, crazy Aunt Lindsay? Plasma, I don't know, it's pretty far out there. It's all about like positive and negative ions and magnetic fields and electricity. Think the stuff that stars are made of or the stuff that lightning is made of or the stuff that's in neon signs. I don't know. That's the best I could do. Sorry I failed you. Now it is time, my friends, for the Fab Lab wrap up. What are the three states of matter? What three atoms make up a water molecule? What is the fourth state of matter that I don't really know anything about? Exactly. That's the science. Now let's make it fabulous. 
for this part of the project, you are going to need an ice tray, blueberries, and water. Infusion. So now we're going to open up our ice. Whoa! And let's take a look at the bottom. Look! Blueberries! Ooh, these are cute. We're gonna drop them right in. We're gonna drop them in here. Good. The recipe for this Fab Lab Infusion is going to be on CrazyAuntLindsay.com. As always, I am on Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. For more projects like this and more, CrazyAuntLindsay.com. And this is Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and we made a solid liquid and gas today. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>